We started using volumetrics back before I even got here when my dad first started H and H back in the '80s, and uh, we used the old gunite beds. So it was all premix, where you you know you'd mix sand and pea gravel uh, together and, and just throw it in the bed. It was a gunite mixer. There was no calibration really. There was no uh, you know mixed designs. It was pretty much you just pours what comes out. It was pretty um, you know pretty simple, simplified, but. Um, yeah, with the new with, with the new mixers, cement, cement tech mixers that we use with y'all, it's come it's come leaps and bounds. I mean, we can you know mix a variety of different mixes, and it's just it's it's crazy what we can do with these trucks these days, and how easy it is uh, compared to back in the day. But uh, but yeah, yeah, it's changed a lot. The way we can mix spontaneously on the job side. I mean, we can we can. We can pour a fence post over here at a 3,000 mix and turn around and pour a street at 5,000 high early all in the same pour because of the capabilities we have. Uh, we can regulate the water uh, if they want it drier, more wet, you know, depending on what slump they're looking for. And a lot of times there's a lot of variables in that specific job where, you know, a barrel truck or ready mix truck couldn't do that, that we can. So that's an advantage. Uh, another advantage is, you know, just mixing what they need. Uh, there's, you know, there's little to no waste, as you know. Uh, you know, they may order uh, 10 yards and only realistically need seven or eight. So instead of paying that extra two yards that they would have with a barrel truck, you know, they only pay for what they use with our truck. And so uh, that helps them out a lot of times on, on those type of pours. We try our best to inform new customers or phone ups uh, that, kind of describe what we do and how it works um, you know because a lot of times they'll you know obviously um, the price per yard is hard to compare with the ready mix truck because it's two different operations so typically what I'm saying is we're more expensive so when we tell them the price per yard uh, you know they may freak out a little bit or be like oh my gosh you know but then once we explain how it works and stuff then it, it makes sense and so yes uh, we try our best to, to, to inform them of how it works. Yeah. You, can't, you can't schedule with a ready mix like that. They're two and three, four weeks out. You know, they're looking for the large pours. That's where we kind of come in, come into play there. So yeah, um, um, the residential guys, flat work guys, it seems like starting about now, April, May, it starts warming up a little bit is when they start coming around and using uh, volumetric a little bit more because we can schedule with them a lot easier. Again, it comes to scheduling because they don't want to pour driveways, sidewalks, patios at three, four o'clock in the afternoon in the Texas heat. It just it just takes off too quick. And so the, you know, barrel truck, a lot of times the, the larger companies, it's gonna be tough for them to bring out, you know, a 10 or 20 yard load when they have a six or 700 yard pour, you know, down the road. So they're not gonna deviate from that. So that's, we kind of pick up those crumbs and uh, that helps us, helps us. A lot of guys can't get concrete, so they're like, they're struggling every day to get concrete, screwing their schedules up, so they're going out and buying trucks, whether it's volumetric or, or barrel trucks. I mean, we only have two or three to service themselves, but that's kind of what it's it's coming down to, and that's why the, uh, we have some contracts and stuff that are important uh, to keep us in mind, because as competition grows, you know, then you, you know, but there's enough work here. There's enough work here, and there's gonna be for a while, so for, for it to grow. A lot of contractors, even when we order concrete, sometimes we order concrete for our own crews uh, that are, you know, out of town or whatever. We always over order, you know, we're gonna over order a little bit depending on, you know, because we don't wanna run short with a barrel truck. You run short, you can get in trouble. Whereas, you know, with our trucks, until they really know, you know, how we work, they over order and it's fine because they know, well, I'm only gonna pay for six yards even if I ordered seven or whatever. They just, they're playing it safe. So that, that's an advantage to, to a, lot of, a lot of our customers. I mean, the residential market's exploding here in, in North Texas and just in Texas in general. Um, the civil, uh, heavy highway, commercial, it's all, it's just exploding because we have so many uh, new residents and people moving in with, with all the new jobs, uh, you know, we have several headquarters being built here up in uh, up in Collin County and, and new neighborhoods. Um, so uh, it's it's I would say it's a 50-50 deal. I mean, it's both both markets are exploding right now. So there's a few cities that will not allow volumetric. We're hoping to change that. Uh, just kind of keep 
pushing that envelope. To be honest, it's 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 pretty difficult. Uh, a, a lot of the guys, and it and it's not their fault. They maybe had previous bad experiences with the volumetric. It seems like as a story on the street, the guys I talk to from, you know, whether it be engineers for different cities, tech stock guys, and uh, you know, with technology, they haven't been brought up to speed with the technology of the new trucks and the new beds and how they operate. A lot of it has to do with that. And so you gotta break through that mold. You gotta break through, um, you know, their doubts on that. And then once you do and they see, oh, okay, this is a pretty good deal. You know, this, this is, they are consistently pouring you know, this slump or this, you know, the brake history is good on these trucks, you know, but it, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to break into some of these, some of these guys just because of previous past experiences that they've had with the older mixers. I think a lot of it comes down to uh, having good, well-trained operators. A lot of these guys, from what I've heard, pump operators I've talked to, and then again, the engineers and, and city officials and stuff have had bad experiences with operators a lot of times because a barrel truck is not really an operating job. You're basically a driver delivering material, whereas what we do, we're an operating job. We're, we're not a driving job. And so uh, it's just a little bit different. And so I think the more we, the more we show these guys uh, as a whole, H&H uh, &H or any other company out there that that hey these these beds these operators are starting to be trained correctly the equipment's there the technology's there to to do it the correct way I think once they see that they'll buy into it a little bit easier uh, Cementech is obviously all taking care of us um, tenfold um, always been there very responsive I mean I may be biased but I've looked at all the all the beds and uh, uh, I've been to the World of Concrete twice I've been to uh, Con Ag, I've touched and felt all different beds and honest, my honest opinion is why we use y'all not only for customer service too because y'all are great there but uh, I just think y'all have the exceptional product out on the market and, uh, and it seems like every year there's um, y'all are always striving to, Cementech is always striving to push the envelope a little bit further and better, better, better your equipment which in turn you know helps us in our business so uh, in that aspect, yeah, we're, we're very pleased. Um, you know, I would, I would recommend anybody that's getting into the volumetric world to definitely, uh, you know, to get in touch with Cementech and, and uh, I know y'all would do them a good job, so.